up guys today or this week rather uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys about reverse culture shock oh god that bee is back leave me alone okay so I took off the red jacket because I don't know if bees can see colors and the color red agitates them but that bee was following me everywhere so this week this last video Lindsay talked about um, culture shock that you would experience going to another country but what people don't tell you is that just like you have culture shock going into another culture you have just as much culture shock coming back home I was living in China uh, for like eight months when it came time for me to come home um, I just I did not adjust too well at first I was just kind of annoyed. I would get annoyed with the way of life out here because I think life in America and life in China, at least the part I was in, was just very different. So the things that I was used to living out there and not having that understanding and like not having people around me who lived like that anymore kind of like unnerved me and unsettled me. And really all it comes down to is the fact that You've been living in a different environment for so long and you've changed. Um, that bee is still, oh God, there's two of them. My mind and my perspective on things that were important and who I was as a person, that changed drastically in just eight months. Um, just because of various things that I had experienced there. And you guys can read all about that in my blog because they're really cool things that happen. Just like I had changed my perspective and things going into China and preparing for that culture shock, I had to adjust my mindset and prepare for life back in the States. It was harder because one, it's not so easy to ignore things back home as it is overseas because like if I didn't want to deal with anything in China, I could tune it out because I didn't really understand anything that was going on or said around me. But here, you know, I understand English and I know people here and I know what's going on here. So it's a lot harder to um, kind of isolate yourself and like focus on you and your attitude. I guess because traveling opens your eyes so much, getting immersed in other cultures and being around people from different nations, it opens your eyes so much more to the world outside of your United States or insert country here bubble. When you do go out, you get that shock, but when you're out there and you come back, you just get that shock also. And it is a challenge and I found that what helped me kind of adjust to that um, was just kind of like, again, reversing that mentality. like. Yes, this is home. This is how they do things here. Yes, I've been abroad and I've adopted new ways of living and new mindsets. So people at home aren't going to understand um, this new mindset that I have if I don't give them a chance. And I can't expect everybody to have changed along with me if they didn't come with me. So people at home have their ways, people overseas have their ways, and it's up to the individual to adjust to wherever they are. And so that's what I had to try to do and try to maintain. And once I started thinking of it that way, um, that helped a lot. Another thing that helped me was finding that one friend who just would listen to me, even if it was just for like a one day hangout and like just pouring out my thoughts and feelings to them. Um, that was really cool. So I had that one friend and we went out to breakfast and we hung out for like half the day. And it was just really nice to be able to talk to somebody else who was so interested. And I think that's so important is finding that one other person who will listen to you and will give you that open ear so you can vent it all out, you know? And another thing that helped me was writing. I'm a writer um, and I have a blog. So 
writing my thoughts down, my feelings and everything, that helped me kind of get everything that was inside out. Um, because you don't want to hold on to that inside, you're just gonna, like, build grudges and get upset more and it's just not healthy. And one more thing that helped me, prayer. I pray a lot because I need a lot of prayer. <laughs> that was my experience with reverse culture shock. Hopefully it made sense. If it didn't, I'm sorry. If you are coming back home after time overseas or away, if you know somebody who is, that would be cool if you shared this video with them so they're kind of prepared. Or even, you know, if you do know somebody, just be that friend that they need to pour out to and talk to um, to make help make the transition for them easier. So, I hope this helps somebody. Bye! <laughs> it's on my arm. This is ridiculous. Anyway, gosh, I can't just like him. Um, what was I saying?